Okay, njroot22.com here in a new venue. Don't ask me why, I just felt like doing something different. Um, and today, it's been actually three weeks since I filmed a uh, cheap wine reviews vlog. Uh, today it's in a, in a new uh, new environment here. It's going to be a little bit boomy. I don't have my uh, wireless mic because I don't have an adapter for my camera, my 10-year-old DLSR, DSLR. So it's going to be boomy. I'll try and fix it in post-production. But today's wine is the Laia 2017. I'm going to give you a little uh, background on the uh, Laia. Laia was a wine I discovered five years ago, maybe six years ago. It's a Spanish wine. It's like a Garnacha, a Monastrel, that type of thing. And I remember drinking, it was a 2011, maybe a 2012 vintage, 14 and change percent. Uh, and it was a good wine. Man, it was like seven or eight, seven bucks, seven, eight dollars a bottle. And it was good. And then all of a sudden, the 2013, 2014, 2015 vintages um, left us with our two bottle review feeling pretty, uh, pretty crappy. They, something happened. So I happened to stumble across this Laia 2017 vintage, uh, aged in uh, stainless steel barrels and then uh, finished off with four months in a, in a French oak barrel, whatever that means. And I just want to let you know one thing. Tomorrow, I think, I have a little bit of a, uh, a wine industry editorial coming out about, about why we're a little bit cynical when it comes to the, the verbiage that seems to be unique to um, the wine industry. And, and as well, as it's infected all the wannabe wine reviewers as well. I read all these uh, independent customer reviews on wine uh, merchant websites and they all talk in the same like like model the same uh, like like framework oh and it was this it has a note of this it's strong on this god man it, it cannot be any more in your mind than anything else but anyway this wine here is uh is made by a, a, a winery called bodegas Adhalaya, and i think that's where they get the laia or, um, name from um, and here's what they say about it. It, it was it's uh, the grapes are uh, um, grown in a in the hot dry region of Spain in limestone soils, which is great actually. I'll explain in a minute. And it's about two to three thousand feet above sea level, um, which is good because that helps with the insects and all sorts of other problems that you might have with uh, wine and. and this is why I heard from some people, I can't tell you if it's true or not, but they don't need uh, the same level of pesticides as they do in like low, lower al uh, altitude regions in California, for instance. Um, so even though it's not an organic wine, it may actually be as good, if not better, from a pesticide standpoint than uh, that an that a organic wine may or may not have. The 20. 12, 2011 were good and then we, we took a few years off from it and we're trying it again. I'm on my second bottle here drinking it watered down. Um, today's cup is sponsored by Wawa, not really, but it, it's inadvertently freely sponsored by uh, Wawa. Man, it's, it's refreshing this year, I gotta say. I'm gonna try some, I'm gonna try some uh, plain. I never do this, I hate doing it, I'm not gonna pay attention to the finish or the, the lingering or any of that crap. I'll tell you this much, I, I don't think it's very good straight. I prefer it watered down. Um, it has a little bit of a, um, I don't know, I don't want to say yeasty, it's, it's hard to explain exactly, but it's not. a lot of people online, on the interwebs, say or said that it's, um, it's underpriced. This wine should be twice as much. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's the 15% that got them and they felt all jolly. I don't know. It, it's a decent wine. And it's seven, I paid $7.49 in Berkeley Heights. There's this uh, liquor store there. And I'm gonna go off on a side note here. I'm a little bit uh, perturbed at, at the, the larger wine 
um, retailers such as Bourbon Street up on the central to western uh, section of uh, central New Jersey, central, you know, anywhere from like, a, I guess, uh, Lebanon or Bridgewater, that area, all the way out to uh, Phillipsburg. Incredible buying power now with 10 or more stores. And, and their price on, on these uh, lower end bottle of wines, bottles of wine that uh, are normally, you know, seven, eight bucks at an independent single liquor store, they charge 10 bucks for it. So not only do they get, you know, power of uh, economy of scale by buying more cases, they probably pay a dollar less a bottle than the independent guys and they charge two dollars more. So they're making hand over fist when it comes to the lower end wines and that is starting to bother me a little bit and, and I don't know what to do about it. I think they shouldn't, they do price match if you bring a receipt in from another store. So I highly recommend if, if a Bourbon Street or, or a, um, what's the other uh, liquor store? Buy Right, Buy Right. Uh, I have to say ShopRite Liquors does, does charge the, the low end price at the independent stores. But there's a place in Union, I think called Shoppers Wines, that has these low-end bottles of wine for a buck less than even the lowest other places. Six ninety-nine a bottle. Um, so that really uh, gets to me when it comes to these 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 wine stores. They, these people are becoming filthy rich because they have a convenient liquor store, and someone's not going to be willing to drive, you know, an extra ten minutes or ten miles um, to save two dollars. So it, it it almost works out in their favor. Um, and, and that to me is, is taking advantage of people. They, they, sh they should just uh, do like the other guys do. Even the, I, I, I can go on and on. All these people, just think about it, think about it, think about it. All the reviews you read, they're, they're like incredible um, verbal tapestries, okay? There's all sorts of flavor um, analogies and, and Really, it's just grape juice. It's grape juice with, and you make it up in your head. It's like maybe some childhood memory gets gets uh, recollected, and it's it's pretty much all red wine tastes the same. I never really say, "Wow, that tastes like uh, rocks," or "That tastes like string cheese," or it, it always tastes pretty much like wine. I mean. A lot of people like this uh, Laya wine, and uh, I guess, I mean, after getting my taste buds numbed after bottle number one, I have to tell you that bottle number two tastes different. It tastes different. It, it's more pleasant and it's easier to drink the more you drink. The first few sips after letting it breathe, of course, that's what they say, <laughs> believe what you want. Yeah, maybe letting it breathe equalizes some of the some of the, the molecules in there. I got a point about the lie, but the whole point is it's $7.49, and it's right in the middle of the $5 to $10 uh, price range, and at 15% alcohol, it packs a punch, and it probably has more. If, if there's one takeaway with this, it's, it's, and pay attention to my wine rant tomorrow, please. It's try not to read too much into it. The wine is, is going to be acceptable most of the time. Even the cheapest of the cheap wines, you're gonna be able to suck down a few glasses and, and not feel vomitously sick. The wine industry is fascinating and I don't see too many people challenging it because the minute you challenge it, they cut you off. You won't get any advertising, they won't give you free wine. I don't get any of that crap anyway. So why, what do I have to lose? I think I have more to gain by getting more people to wake up about the fact that I don't think there really is much difference between a six or seven dollar bottle of wine and a fifty or a hundred dollar bottle of wine. The taste is, is momentary and fleeting. I, I'm, I'm almost willing to bet if someone wants to donate two uh, hundred and fifty dollar bottles of red Spanish wine to the uh, njroot22.com and let me try them the same exact way I drink them. You know, watered down, I love this thing. By the way, double, you have to double the uh, cups to keep the, the ice from melting too fast. To me, to prove this point that, that there really is no difference, I, I, would, I would be happy to uh, indulge. I'll be back in a little while.
you there. NJWood22.com back the next day after drinking a Laya 15%, two bottles, and I have to say I don't feel so swell today. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I didn't drink for six days uh, in a row beforehand, but I, I don't think the Laya passed the test. I really don't. I, I think the two, two bottle test should work no matter whether I drank the night before or not for a week before. So I, I'm not gonna drink the lie anymore unless uh, I know I'm just gonna have a glass or two. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty okay wine, but it doesn't pass the two bottle test. Um, and that's it. It's a beautiful day and uh, too bad my uh, I don't feel the same way the day looks. And that's it. Until the next two bottle test. Have a good week.